bantam weight divisions well we've seen some thrilling action and we've seen some of the top seeds get knocked out of the competition during today's session and this evening promises to be equally as exciting we're going to get straight into the action on the a-ring here we're starting with the men's fly 52 kilogram weighted boxers the number one seeded russian misha alien is in the red corner up against the talented young prospect out of cuba that's robzi ramirez the 18 year old from kamagai who won the youth olympic games the junior worlds and the pan-american youth games last year goes up against the 2010 european champion out of moscow from russia Seconds out, the first of the three three-minute rounds. Confirmation that uh, Aluyan is in the red corner and red trunks and vest. Ramirez of Cuba in the blue. This is a great challenge for the young rising star out of Cuba, taking on one of the established amateur internationals, Misha Aluyan. Beat the British boxer. Khalid Yafi 4-1 to take that European title and also the Russian twice a national champion so it'll be interesting to see how much respect and patience that the experienced Russian boxer gives this uh, teenager out of Cuba and he just celebrated his 18th birthday and of course the age group for these senior world championships 17 to 34 years of age but um fantastically successful junior ramirez and he now finds himself mixing it with the seniors and of course there's added pressure or certainly added atmosphere here in the Haydar alias sport and concert complex in baku azerbaijan as each and every one of the winners of these bouts this evening goes through to the quarterfinals, of course. But they also guarantee their Olympic qualification. Good work with the jab from the Russian boxer. It's also putting some nice close work in there as well. Uppercuts. And there again, a lovely little left hook. And as we've seen earlier today, one or two of the Eastern European boxers giving the Cubans a little bit of respect in the early part of the bouts, but then it's back to business. And of course, you can't get away from Cuba in amateur boxing, the most successful nation of all since the inception of the World Championships in Cuba, of course, back in 1974. Many of you will remember the great Felix Savant three times the Olympic gold medalist in 92, 96 and Sydney in 2000. Six-time world champion Stevenson and Herrera, also triple Olympic gold medalists and world champions. Just 20 seconds to go in this first round. And Ramirez holding his own with the more senior partner from Russia, but for me, the Russian is starting to already stamp his mark and stamp his control. Just getting a warning there from the referee for holding the young Cuban down. And the Russian just the advantage. I'd got that scored a little higher, but uh, after the mean average of the judges' scores are taken, the Russian leads the Cuban by three to two one point advantage five judges of course the highest and the lowest scores are disregarded then the three remaining are averaged to give us the score that we see and I have to say after a slightly nervous start from the young Cuban he settled nicely by the end of that first round and just one point behind well the Russian ranked number one in the men's fly division He's not as far ahead as perhaps he thought he may be. There's a confirmation. Quite a few of the judges had them tied 
but uh, Aloyan in the red, one point clear. And the youngster feeling a lot more confident. Those butterflies and early nerves in his first senior world championship has settled. And now they're prepared to battle it out. And the youngster giving as good as he gets here. Robzi Ramirez for Cuba in the blue. Misha Aloyan of Russia in the red. Good left hook there from the Russian. But the Cuban again comes back on the attack and he too is putting in his punches. Two lovely hooks and a good uppercut as well. well he may be five years the junior and five years less experience. Absolutely no fear shown whatsoever here from this young commit Cuban. <laughs> oh, good uppercut there from Aloyan. And upping the tempo a little now, the Russian. A little more urgency in his work. Not satisfied, not happy with just being one point clear after the first, looking to extend that on the second. And the respect, and perhaps a little bit of time for the young to settle in has now disappeared. And you see a twice... Russian national champion and a former European champion. Looking for every point and for every punch to count. A little wild from the Cuban. Big swinging hook. And punches hoping for the target rather than spotting it beforehand. Good combination from the Russian. Shame that didn't connect. There's the uppercut again, opening up the defence, but a good counter-attack from the Cuban. Just 30 seconds to go in this second round, and the Cuban's finishing strong towards the end of the round, just like he did in the first. Oh, yes. Good attack from the Russian. It's his turn to put points down in the closing stages. Looking strong right to the bell of the second round. The Russian takes that second round eight points to six. Now opening up a three-point advantage going into the final round. But once again, the youngster from Cuba putting in some good combinations. And... Clearly the Russian being told from his corner that this youngster has got a lot of skill, got a great future ahead of him, and you need to close him out. I'm sure the tactic for Aloyan will be the same, taking that second round. Eight to six to Robzi Ramirez. Eleven to eight after two rounds. Three clear. Ramirez knows that he needs to score, and he needs to score at a rapid rate now. And the Russian is ready for him. <coughs> well, a little bit of excitement from 
the crowd thinking that was a knockdown not to be. Just getting caught with the head a little low. Ramirez now in the blue, the Cuban, all getting a little bit tangled. Again, that was a little bit low. Referee clearly telling the Cuban. Up there. Past the halfway stage. And still we have the Russian ahead. It's a bright performance from the 18-year-old Cuban. Experience showing through here. It's only three, remember. It's not seven, 13, which has been the settling score for some of these bouts throughout the day here in Baku. Just three, maybe a few more now. Holding. Needs to be careful, Aloyan. So in this last minute, which of these two boxers has something a little special left in the reserve team? If the Cubans to go through the quarterfinals, he needs to dig deep and find it right now. Because it looks like he's been outboxed by the Russian. But no question, the mighty Cuban boxing machine keeps rolling them out year after year, and Ramsey Ramirez is a great talent for the future. Thirty seconds. The Cuban needs another one of those combinations if he's to close the margin now cries from the corner that there's 10 seconds remaining we're down to five what a great performance from both boxers in the opening bout of the men's fly Rob Z. Ramirez of Cuba in his first major international championship as a senior boxer doing well to get to the round of 16 but I'm not sure that's enough to take the number one ranked boxer for this championship out of the competition predicted 15 to 11 make a note of this young lad's name if you follow amateur boxing around the world Robzi Ramirez so five years the junior to the Russian former European champion and at one point in the bout Trading score for score, punch for punch, just losing out to the Russian by the end.